From the same team that brought us Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, a new game show is coming to the Game Show Network, and it's hosted by someone with ties to Minnesota, and you know we love that. Take a look at this clip from Tug of Words. Okay, Emma, you get to choose the word to start your turn. What will it be, please? Let's go slay. Yes, we've got to slay. <laughs> Watch out, she's ready to slay. All right, all right, 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. After body in a wrestling move. Slam. Road trip beef stick blank, Jim. Slim. Tried to score at the plate. Slid. Conveyed verbally. Slide. Said. There's more than Oh, okay, I'm sitting here. It's really hard. I just wanted to keep playing, but we got to talk to, to our next guest. That's Tug of Words, and it debuts today on the Game Show Network audience. Give it up for the host, Samantha Harris. Hey, Samantha. It's nice to be here. Okay, Samantha, the producers did their research. Okay, you're from, you're originally from Hopkins, right? Hopkins High, all the way, go Royals. That's right. And then, did you actually work here at Channel 9? I heard, yeah. you did? Yes. So while I, well, while I was at Northwestern University, one of the programs is that you have to go into a newsroom and work full time. And I was able to work at KMSP. And it was great because I had interned at Entertainment Tonight the summer before. And so Entertainment News was my jam. And KMSP had a, a five minute entertainment news segment as part of their hour long news program. And so I was producing, I was in the field doing art galleries and any you know different artists, musical artists that would come to town. And I covered a couple of hard news stories. Um, there, I will say there was a murder that I covered that was really heartbreaking. And it's really what continued, just solidified for me, thank you KMSP, that A, the coverage is amazing on KMSP and that I needed to stay in entertainment. Yeah, <laughs> you know what's funny? I was the producer of that segment. <laughs> Were you really? The so buzz. there was a woman who was the producer when I started and then she went on maternity leave. And then I took over that summer um, in between my junior and senior year of college uh, to produce it myself. And then I had to go back to school. Yeah. So then uh, how long have you been producing that? I replaced you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Who knew, Jason? Who that's, knew? That's hysterical. Okay, let's get to tug of words. I went through a, a little bit of the premise. Can you flesh out the, uh, the premise for us, Samantha? Yes, so it is a fast-paced wordplay game show where we have two teams of two competing. I offer a clue, and we start with a three-letter word. You have to change one letter in that existing word to get to the new, the new word. Then I give another clue, change one letter, get to yet the next clue or the next answer. Then we go to four letter words and eventually we go, we got to, you know, of course, ramp it up. So we then go to five and six letter words, Jason, where you have to change two letters in the existing word to get the answer. And it is fast paced fun. Um, and it looks, we were playing here watching that clip. It's hard, Samantha. It's not easy. Well, so, well, I'll be honest, there are some, depending on the episode or that the particular round within an episode, there are definitely certain rounds that you're like, wow, I totally could have rocked that whole thing. I would have totally won this whole thing, no big deal. And then there are other rounds or certain words that you're like, there is not a chance I'd never even heard of that word. How would I have even answered it? So that's what makes it really fun to play along from home because first of all, I have my kids are 11 and 15, my girls. There were definitely answers that they could have answered that I couldn't. And then of course there were things I could answer that they couldn't or that my mom as a grandparent, you know, you know, could have answered. So it's fun for the whole family and a good game night together, which I, I love. And I love coming back to Minneapolis. I come back every year. It's again, my hometown, a lot of my family. Hi to my wonderful family and my sister is still there. My niece and aunts and all that good stuff. I love it. Cousins. And we have to go 30 seconds. Uh, entertainment tonight, Dancing with the Stars. I, I, as someone that does a talk show, I would imagine doing a game show is just a trip and a half and a hell of a lot of fun. Am I right on that? It is so much fun. It is so different. And then my other world that I live in and breathe in is my wellness world as a certified yeah. health coach. So, you know, you guys can find out lots about all that and my breast cancer thriver life and how to become your healthiest healthy just at Instagram or Facebook, Samantha Harris TV. I love seeing questions, comments. And if you watch Tug of Words, which premieres 
today, Tonight. Uh, you can go ahead and DM me. Let me know what you thought. Send me questions, comments, anything. Thank you, Samantha. So nice to be back in Minneapolis. Minneapolis, St. Paul. Love you guys. Tug of words, as Samantha said, airs on the Game Show Network. Check your local listings. That's hysterical. We like, she literally, I replaced her. Cross paths. Yeah, for I, Robin Robinson was the host of that. Yeah. And I came in mm -hmm. my first day with a pleather coat. That's right, girl. <laughs> Ugliest coat you ever did see. And we interviewed Prince on that first day. That was my first day. Yeah. No big deal. Imagine that, no big deal, yeah.